I always was interested in the control theory aspect and that was one of the main focuses when I applied for Purdue. And then Professor Jane reached out to me. She saw that I had done a previous co-op with another company and they're like, oh, we have this really cool like company collaboration. We think you'd be a great fit for this. The focus of this project is to improve a specific manufacturing process called twin roll strip casting, uh, specifically for steel. And so it's about manufacturing thin strips of steel very, very quickly. We're working with a company called Cash Strip LLC, which is now wholly owned by Nucor Steel, who has a plant down in Crawfordsville, Indiana, which is about 40 miles south of here. When you're casting steel with this twin roll process, as you're pouring molten steel, which will be about 1600 degrees Celsius, as you're rotating, if there's any imperfection in the casting roll itself, it'll just be magnified into the strip profile. When you have molten steel at thousands of degrees Celsius, you can't actually have sensors very close by. There's a lot of constraints in what we can sense. And so about six or seven seconds goes by between where the strip is formed and when we actually get to check to see what its thickness is. And so handling that delay um, is what has been challenging about this. They're going to be rotating these uh, casting rolls about once every one to two seconds. And we want to be able to change the position within that frame. We're going to be measuring the strip profile and then trying to change the position of those casting rolls so that if they see this disturbance that's coming in from these imperfections in the casting roll, they can reject that and then keep the profile more uniform and more consistent during the casting process. What we're doing is working on designing control algorithms for their process that help them have finer control over that final product. We'll take those measurements and then run it through a process, a algorithm known as iterative learning control and we'll use that iterative learning control to come up with this new position signal, which will then send to the casting roll position control system, which will then move the casting rolls like we want it to. The collaboration with Castrip and Nucor um, has been, in my mind, sort of the best that you can ever have between academia and industry. So we're very excited and it's been a lot of fun to be able to demonstrate the algorithm on actual equipment. That's something that a lot of folks don't actually get to do. The next phase of the project that we're going to be doing is actually installing it into their existing control architecture so that then when they use it not just in Crawfordsville but also in their other facilities throughout the world, they'll be using the controller that we've been working on here at Purdue.